Hi everyone, my name's Dave Norris. I'm also known as the last projectionist standing uh, in some circles. Uh, and welcome to this very special screening of Night of the Living Dead from 1968, which is being brought to you this evening by the good people at Cult Picks, who when they asked me if I would uh, introduce something, I thought they were going to pick something that um, I was a little bit more of an expert on, you know, maybe James Bond movie or um, my favourite comedy, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, anything with an overture and an intermission in it, basically. And they said, no, we've got this little black and white horror film from 1968 that we'd, that we'd like to show, and um, we'd like you to, to say a few words about it. So I'm not going to go on too much about the movie because I'm sure if, you're, if you've bought a ticket and you're there, then you will know everything there is to know about this movie, as in the story and everything else. Um, a lot of you probably know about its descent into copyright hell after it was uh, its name was changed from Night of the Flesh Eaters to Night of the Living Dead. And um, I have it on very good authority that since it was released in 1968, it has made 263 times its budget back and um if there's enough of you there this evening it's probably getting on for 264 um this is a 4k restoration as i said and uh, it was done in 2016 by uh the people at uh, the museum of modern art in new york so i know it's going to look absolutely amazing on the big screen the killers are eating the flesh the people they murdered yeah they're dead they're all messed up i've got a very small anecdote about this movie um when i was in high school aged about 14 uh, i ran the 16 millimeter projector and therefore was responsible for the weekly film club and we used to pick the movie get the movie delivered they'd also send a poster which we would display and on a wednesday evening we would we would show a movie and i think we charged about 10 p for the, the kids to come in um if it was ever uh, an x certificate film we would always get the post and we would always tip x out the certificate so that the headmaster couldn't see that we were watching something and we were that we were slightly all slightly underage to watch so um i have actually shown this movie i i didn't actually realize that until the other day so um so i guess when prepping for this that kind of you know that that brought back some memories of uh, of how I started in the film industry, really, uh, you know, running the 16mm projector at school. So this is going to look phenomenal compared to that old print, I'm sure. So once again, thank you for coming. Support cinema. Uh, we're really pleased that cinemas are open again and it's good to have you back. So enjoy the movie. And they're coming to get you, Barbara.